Hey y'all. Um, I just realized I didn't bring my laptop in so I can watch the comments, but <clears throat> that's okay. This is going to be a, a quick Facebook, um, live and I'm Peggy Lee and welcome. Today is going to, uh, today's Friday. I'm so excited that today's Friday. Um, so I'm calling it DIY Friday and what we are going to create is a shabby farmhouse centerpiece. And what I mean by shabby is, of course, you know, we have the, um, the shabby pink flowers. And we're going to create paint a can. This one's already done because I didn't want the live to be on for very long. For long. And um, so I already pre-painted this one, but I'm going to show you on this what I did. And then we're going to do an arrangement. So I've been seeing these all over Pinterest. Um, the little tin bucket. Hi, Lynette. How are you? Hey, Re hey Renee. Um, I forgot to bring my laptop in, so I can't check on check on comments. But um, we're gonna try to get through it anyway, and we'll just make it how it is. Hope the lighting is good. I can turn on my overheads um, if we need to, um, but got some good lighting today, so I thought I'm just gonna go with it. So we're gonna make a far shabby farmhouse centerpiece out of a tin can. This actually came from a school. Um, they serve, I think, must be fruit or something that comes in this. But it's a great resource for to get big cans, um, like, like the Christmas tree one I did. Um, ask a school kitchen if you can have empty big cans, because sometimes they'll be happy to give it to you. Or a restaurant, I don't, I mean, if you have a friend in a restaurant, um, that kind of thing. So, I'm going to teach you how to paint this, and I had to hunt in my house for a piece of styrofoam. You're driving to Bangor? Oh, be careful. Watch out for those little critters. They're not little, <laughs> but be careful. But yay, uh, um, hope everything's okay while you're going to Bangor, but drive safe. But thanks for watching. Um, I really wanted a piece of the green styrofoam, you know, the green styrofoam that you can get wet. I like those for this type of project because I don't feel bad about ruining those. Um, but I don't have any and my husband has the car so I couldn't run to the dollar store and get some. Plus, we're in quarantine so um, I couldn't really run to the store if I wanted to. Um, but uh, I forgot to shut my phone off so hopefully it won't be too loud. Um, so I went upstairs. I used to make um, wedding bouquets. I used to do fabric flowers and I make wedding bouquets. And so I have a bunch of these circular ones because I use them for wedding bouquets. I use them for um, kissing balls and all that stuff. Well, I had a few left over. So what I did is I went and I put this the styrofoam ball in my can and figured out kind of where I wanted to cut it off. And I just did a slice off. Um, it's not it's not all the way down. You can still see the styrofoam, but um, I want that rounded look anyway. So this is gonna work out perfect. So if you're on watching, say hi so I know you're here. Sheila, how are you? I missed you, girl. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this last, but I'm gonna show you how to, this is, this is just my um, canvas to excess paint, take my excess paint off. But I am gonna show you how I created this um, farmhouse galvanized kind of look. And it's not actually perfect. I think I would like to add a layer of metallic to this before I do my florals. Oh, I love you too and I miss you too. Hope you're doing, I hope you're staying safe and doing good. So how I got the farmhouse look and it's, um, this is just a tin can and basically it's just a matter of layers, layers and layers and layers. And I have done another video on this. Um, this one I wanted a little bit more rustic. I didn't want it that gray look. I wanted it more dark and that's how I went. But I think it needs another little touch up, but we'll see. I'll see. I kind of like it. It's a little darker than I wanted, but I think I might lighten it up a little bit while we do this. So. 
Okay, let's get started. I'm just going to jump in because I had not planned on coming on live, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> the house is quiet. It seems to be quiet outside, so I'm going to jump on, and I have the energy, and I'm just going to do it. So let's get creative. Okay, so how I got this. This was a tin can. How I got this. The first thing we're going to do is take gesso. Um, sometimes I'll take a piece of sandpaper and I rough up the tin first. I'm today I'm lazy and I just don't want to dig out my sandpaper. So, um, and I'm out of gesso. I have used up all my gesso. So I have just a hair of chalk paint left. So it's time to go to, it's time to go to a craft store, <laughs> but you know, I'm go, we're going to Walmart tomorrow. We're going to our Walmart tomorrow. So I will be able to go to Walmart. <laughs> and get some, uh, hopefully, just some inexpensive gesso, because I can't, unless I, I might have to order it online, you know, but I try to buy local as much as I can. So if you don't have gesso, chalk paint works just as good. So I'm gonna grab some of this chalk paint, and this is just the Waverly brand in white chalk paint from Walmart, and I'm just going to paint this can real quick. And it's just going to help give um, the paint some tooth to grab onto. Um, this is, I actually just took this out of my recycling bin. It's green olives. So I'm just going to paint it really quickly because I'm going to do the technique that I did on this on this can. Because I don't I don't have another one of these. I wish I did. My friend Dolores is watching. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I might have some in storage. I should go look. So if you're on, please say hi. And um, don't forget to sprinkle, which is S-H-A-R-E, um, um, this video. And um, it's kind of fun. I just love doing this type of thing. So this is going to be a really quick, quick, quick um, craft. I don't want to stay on too long, um, but it's fun too. So next to me, um, oh, in order to do this, why the gesso dries or the chalk paint, I should tell you what you need. In order to achieve this, you need a tin can. You need a gesso or chalk paint. Um, also, you just need a, a variety of different color uh, grays, um, blacks, and there's different levels of black. I think when I did my other tin um, galvanized pale ones that I created, I think I had a pewter or a pavement color black, which has got a lot of gray in it. But I'm using what I have on hand because I can't get to the craft store. So um, for this bucket here, I used um, just regular black paint from Walmart, the cracker, not the cracker barrel the apple barrel, um, just plain old black. So I used that. Um, I used this gray and it's just an artist, um, inexpensive artist brand. And it's, I got it at Ocean State and it's like, um, it's called a natural gray. So it's kind of a pretty gray color. Um, not something I normally use for paint, but I grabbed it. And I also used apple, apple barrel, um, terracotta or tutorial beige and it's it's a brown and you're gonna think why would you use brown but you need those undertones so or I did I grabbed what I had I also grabbed I had this but I did not use it but I'm gonna show you it's Waverly chalk paint it's a matte finish and it's in a it's an uh, elephant which is a really pretty color um, it's a color that a lot of people use in home decor in farmhouse um, I could have used this, but I just didn't open it. I didn't need to, but I did have it on my plate. And then I had the the kicker that you need to really get you a great um, galvanized look. Eh. And of course, the lawn mowers are going. If it's my lawn mower man, I'm going to jump up and go shut my door. So, um, because his machine is very loud. Uh, oh, thank, I am sassy. I'm a Tilly. <laughs> Kite Chloe, how are you? 
So this is this is the thing that you need. Um, and don't run out to the store and get it, but when next time you're at a store, it's called Folk Art Metallica or Metallic um, Gunmetal Gray. And it's very, it makes it look like that pewter look. Um, that's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to go shut the doors. I'll be right back. It is my guy who's mowing my lawn, and he has a big machine, and it's really loud. Um, so, hey, Catherine. Hey, Kat, how are you? Okay, so, and, and, you also need white. Just plain old white paint. This is um, just acrylic paint from Walmart. Um, you can buy it at Walmart. You can buy it almost anywhere. But I like it because it was a big bottle, and I've had it for a while. So, just, you need some of that. All right. And I also used these little foam brushes now you can buy these at any craft store um i think i have seen them at the dollar store but i'm not i don't think so but i'm not positive but you can buy a little package at walmart for like two or three bucks and it has different sizes so these are the two sizes i'm using the medium and the tiny that's what that's what i had in my bucket because I'm not really good with these and I had to throw the last three away because I didn't clean them. But you should clean them. You don't have to, but you could. So, and then this is just a palette. This is one of those dollar store holiday treat uh, cookie trays. And I use it as a palette. It, it works, right? Right. And then I have a thing of water here to put my paintbrush in. Don't you love that? Isn't that yummy? I love that all those layers of paint in there okay so let's get started so now we're going to start with the black i put that in the water so i'm going to take some black i don't know if you can see so i'm going to pull my thing right here so you can see i think you can see yeah so i'm going to just take some black and i'm just going to do a um half of this can because yeah i don't need to I don't think I need to do the whole can, but I'll do half of it just to show you. And let's, I need black. I need the light gray. I'm going to go ahead and put that on here. My, He's going to come around. I have a huge picture window in my dining room. He's going to see me talking to myself. <laughs> it's kind of funny. He's an amazing man, though. What was my lawn? Such a blessing to us. Yep, see, I told you he was gonna wave. <laughs> so cute, and okay, so I'm gonna show you. Well, I put a, just a quarter size thing of um, black paint. You're gonna need a lot more if you do a big can like this, but then I just did small pieces of paint, like a little um, nickel size um, amount, and then that way you can always add paint. You can't put it back in. Yeah, oh yeah, cat. Yeah, Walmart, two weeks ago, I went to Walmart into the craft section. You know, before this, uh, this, before this thing happened, this pandemic or whatever, you know, you could always get something in the craft section. <laughs> but since this thing has happened, there's no paint. There was, um, there was something else missing in the craft section. There was no paint. I mean, there was just ton of stuff that I normally get there, I could not get because it was all gone. Everybody's painting. <laughs> Thank God I have a prep. Okay, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I'm gonna get it. So, this is what I use for paint as well as these little tiny ones from Walmart. If you want paint color, and you're gonna do a lot of painting, um, because sometimes I do canvas painting, I go to um, Walmart, not Walmart, La, Home Depot and Lowe's, and they, it's called Vals, Valspar, it's their samples. You can buy, um, and one thing I did learn, I did not know this, but when you go to, um, say, Home Depot, and you go to their little paint section, and they have the sample paints of, 
Valspar. And they have one color, and then there's like five different family colors in that one color. If you see a color that that's not already made up, you can, I guess you can ask them and they'll make it up for you. I did not know that. I thought because it was all, you know, you just take one and the next one pulls out. I thought whatever they had there was what they had. But this is what I use. I use Valspar. I buy these because they're three dollars for this little size. You, I'm still using this stuff. This stuff is great paint and it works great on a canvas and it's a great, so if you're, if you're hurting for colors, go to Lowe's or Home Depot and go to Valspar and get a sample. It's three bucks. You can't beat that. Okay, that's my little, that's my little, uh, little side thing. Okay, let's get painting. All right, what to do with my, oh, there they are. So I'm gonna take the paint with my big brush here. I've already painted it white. And I'm just gonna grab some, I'm just dabbing. See how I'm doing that? I'm just dabbing. I always think you can't see because the comments are in my way. So you're just gonna dab, you're gonna get a good, you can dab off if you want. And you're just gonna start, and I'm just dabbing. Dab, 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 dab. That's all you're doing, the whole thing. Just dab. And you're gonna do layers and layers and layers of that. Okay, you're just dabbing. It looks like a cow. And then um, I use the same brush. That's just the way I am. Well, let me squeeze some metallic on here so you can see it too. Okay, so, and actually, and I'm gonna need some white. I guess I'll do the whole can. It's not gonna kill me to do the whole can. It's just a tiny can. All right, I just don't like to keep you guys waiting too long. So I, my black is still on my brush. I'm gonna go right into the next color, which is the light gray. Okay, I'm gonna go into the light gray and I'm gonna go all the way around and I'm just pouncing and what's it, what I'm doing is I'm blending the white and the black together and it's blending the colors, okay? Ooh, ow, that hurt. Um, a little sharp piece from when I cut the, opened up the can. So that's what it looks like so far. All right, can you guys see okay? Do I need to turn a light on? Um, now I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the brown, just a little bit, just a little bit of the brown. I tell ya, I'm so blessed by that man. Okay, I didn't even hardly put a lot of brown on there, just a little. Now I'm gonna grab some of the metallic gray and I'm just putting a little bit on my paintbrush or my, my sponge, I guess is what I should say. Um, yeah, I have to get out and mow my little stretch. He mows my lawn except for the very front. I mow, I mow it. The, it's just a tiny little patch of grass. I gotta get out there and mow it. I probably should do that today. So we're just pouncing, 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 and that's all you do. Pounce, 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 pounce. And then I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna switch um, sponges. And I'm gonna take my tiny little sponge into my white. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm just going to do, I just want a blob. Okay? That's all I'm gonna do. Just a quick little blob. So I'm just showing you this really quickly. Um, Grab, grab a can out of your recycle bin and get some colors and color all over it. Hey, how are you? Is it Esther? Is it, am I saying it right? Because I can't see that far away. Ooh, South Carolina. Beautiful. We actually have good weather here today. It's overcast, um, but it's 61 and it's, you know, we can have the windows. It's colder in my house than it is outside. So, okay. Then I'm gonna take the same brush, the little tiny one, I'm gonna go back into the metallic and I'm gonna go right on top of the, the white pounces that I did, just adding more layers. And now I'm gonna go take the big sponge. So here it is I have. It looks like a hot mess right now, but it'll be pretty when I'm done. Um, oh good, I said your name wrong. I can barely see. 
I, I have a, and if I, if I go like this, I have a bi, I have bifocal contacts, so I have to tilt my head so I can actually see what is being written up there, because <laughs> one side is for reading and one side's for distance, and they kind of make it a little blurry when you look straight on. So I'm going to get some more black, and I'm going to blend over the whole thing. Blend, 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 blend. Just, I'm blending, just like that. Right over all of it. So it's just blending all together. And once you learn, once you do it enough times, you learn the technique of how fast to go. And um, it's and it's therapeutic. So if you're mad about at, at somebody, this is a perfect opportunity <laughs> to, to craft because you can bounce your anger right out. Um, sorry, <laughs> I'm not mad at anybody. Yeah, it's fun. We're making a shabby. Um, farmhouse centerpiece and we did it with a tin can. I already pre-did the tin can and and I'm just showing you on a small um, green or uh, black olive can. <laughs> had a salad last night, had to have some black olives. I always do the bottom. I'm just one of these crafters that I have to finish the whole project. I, I don't know if it's just me or what, but there's a lot of people out there who who craft and they make gorgeous repurposed stuff but they never paint the bottom or they don't paint the back side because no one's gonna see it but see as I'm a shopper I that's the first thing I do I turn it around to see if it's finished I, that's just who I am so okay so this is what we have so it's looking pretty good now this is where this is where this is kind of dark for me but this is where you decide if you want to go lighter or darker. Do you want to go more galvanized, shiny gray, or do you want to just go scruffy? I'm a scruffy person, so this right here, it yes, it is a little dark, and I may add her add a lay, layer of um, finish it. Yes, finish it off. I know I I it. Oh, yeah, I just cannot stand when I I pick up a project, I pick up this flower bouquet, and I'm like, this is gorgeous. I turn it over, and it's not. See, I, I even did the bottom side, because I that's just me. Okay, so I'm going to stop there, because we I need to paint the inside a little bit, too, for us to get going. So I'm going to pull this off and put it on my little tray. So I need to paint a little bit on the inside, not a lot, just, I'm just going to rub, I am also just use the sponge, I, got, I was going to use a paintbrush, but I'm just going to add some tech, no one's going to really see it, but I'm a finisher, so I'm kind of, I just want to do black on the inside, just, I'm going to put um, peat moss, sorry, my, the guy mowing my lawn is hilarious. <laughs> funny uh, um, he's got one of those you know one of those machines that he can twirl so I hope I didn't just get paint on myself okay so I just painted on the inside just about an inch in all the way around that's just me I'm just that way okay so it is a little dark let me see let me pull this over and I can show you I made um, this a cake stand and this is made out of um, I don't think I have it here one of those flower um, buckets from uh, the dollar store you know the little market ones I took the handles off and um, I did the whole gray painting and stuff but I wanted it more galvanized you can see how dark this is and this is not I'm gonna make this a little lighter and then this is one of those um, uh, p um, burner, pan burner. You know the at the dollar store you can get three for a dollar. They come big, little, small. They're like the size of a pizza pan, but they're burner covers. That's what this is. And then around the edge, if you can see, I have, um, they look like beads. It's Mardi Gras beads. <laughs> and I glued those all on. And then I think I, I'm not sure if I did a video on this or not, 
But here's my cake stand, but you can see the difference. Oh, I just stuck my hand in paint. You can see the difference in the color. So I might make this one just a hair lighter and we're gonna do that really quickly. So I'm gonna take this, oh, I keep forgetting that I just painted that, Lord. So I'm gonna go into the, into the, a little bit, I, I grabbed a little bit of the white into the, into the black, just a little bit. I'm pouncing, pouncing, pouncing. And it's kind of making, kind of like a moot, like a gray effect. And I'm just gonna pounce a little bit on there. I'm just gonna do a little, I don't wanna do a lot cause I really don't wanna have to wait for it to dry. Kinda don't like that. <laughs> I'm impatient, but I have my heat tool. So what's everyone doing on this Friday? It's gorgeous. I say gorgeous because it's not snowing. <laughs> I'm just so tired of the winter weather. I am ready to go outside in a t-shirt and um, I have my old t-shirt on today too, my old ratty one. It's my crafty project day. Usually I change when I do Facebook Lives, I'll put on a cleaner shirt or something a little bit more appropriate, but I'm crafting today, so, and I didn't feel like putting on my apron, so you got me. Always oh, hide the, yeah, yes. So it doesn't look like I did much because you can't, I mean, because it's hard to see because it still looks really dark, but it is lighter. So I'm gonna take some of this metallic paint, which is a little gray, um, like a medium dark gray, but I'm gonna see if I add some metallic on here and see if it light, lightens up. Oh, oh yeah, a little. I should just have gone with what I had. Would have been a lot easier. You know. You know how when you get a project and it's perfect and then you say, oh, I think I should just add one more thing and then you screw it all up, yeah, that might happen today. But I kind of like it, it's not it's not dark, dark. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more white or I could add the gray. I might mix white and I got a little bit of black left, so I think I'll, I'll mix it. This is where I'm crossing the line of I have, um, I might be going too far. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, and I think I did. See, I should have left it. See, now it's really whoop, bright. Sorry, I can fix it, it's still wet. And it's just a matter of layers, 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 layers. Um, if I didn't really, really like it, I could, you can swipe, but I like the pouncy look. The pouncy look looks more real. Um, So, how many of you make your own flower centers? Like, I have seen something like I'm going to make in a magazine for, like, a lot of money. You can make it yourself. Let's see. That's not too bad. It's a little bit lighter. I actually kind of like it. It's a lot, it's a little bit lighter. I'm not gonna bother doing the bottom because the bottom's already done. Done enough for me. Okay, so I'm gonna, let's heat tool that just so that um, we can get through the project a little faster. So I'm just heat tooling it. It doesn't take long to dry. Sorry about the noise. And when this is all done and you have the flowers in it, if you decide that you want it a lighter or darker, just carefully go back in with your sponge and sponge up your thing, even with the flowers in it. Like I would, um, if I was gonna do that with, um, with the flowers and everything in it, I would grab something to put it on and then, and then fix my paint job, but, I might even take some sandpaper to this. I don't know if I would now, but you could. Oh, thank you. Whew. 
That's, and that's the thing. You're, it's not supposed to be perfect. It's, it see it's already pretty tacky. This side's a little tacky, but it's pretty dry to the to the touch. All right, so now I'm gonna glue. Now, one thing that's great about doing this in a tin is you can. I'm gonna glue this in there just for stability. But if you want to take this apart down the road, all you have to do is tip over your your thing, take a heat tool or a hair dryer, heat up the bottom, which will heat up the hot glue and then you should be able to pop it right out so I have my hot glue gun here already heating up so I'm just gonna put some hot glue right on the styrofoam and of course I'm gonna run out of glue just as soon as I start now hot glue and styrofoam do not mix it does melt it but I don't care I think I need this is a new hot glue gun but I think I need a new one and if I get another one, it's going to be one of those huge industrial ones. All right, I think that's good enough. Now, now it's going to, now it's not supposed to keep coming out. Once the button goes off. There we go. All right. And we're going to sit that right down inside and just push, just push it, push, push, push. So, um, Chloe, you can use Chloe, you could do this these videos as schoolwork. Could be your art class. So it's it's in there. See? It's in there pretty good. Okay, let's do the fun part. <laughs> I'm gonna move the paint job out of the way and hopefully my cat does not. Actually, I better move it um over here. Because I have a cat. And he has a tendency of jumping up on the table and to see what I'm doing. So, okay. So what I did now is we're going to put flowers in here. And I went into my room and I grabbed a bunch of flowers I had just laying around. And they're kind of pretty all together. We're not going to need all these, but we're going to do some of them. And you're going to need, the other tool that you will need is um, wire snippers or um, cutters. Um, wire cutters because we're going to cut these off. Okay. So I know for a fact that I want these flowers. So I'm going to cut these all apart. So I'm going to push that over here. We're going to cut them all apart because, um, and you can cut them kind of long and we can always cut them down. I, I'm, I'm pushing up the leaves though, just a little bit, little fake leaves. Because we might want these a little smaller to go, um, in the, in the, in the can. Can't think and cut at the same time. All right, so we're probably going to have to have both, both of these probably. We'll do both. Let's see. Let me see. I'm going to kind of do a layer here and see what we have. And these are just some inexpensive peonies, fake peonies that I bought. I think I got these at the dollar store last spring. Um, I always buy them. They're not, you know, they're not as beautiful as the ones at Michael's. But for me, they serve, they, they do fine. So, um, who doesn't love a peony? <laughs> I love peonies. Uh, let's see. Do I want this one? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see might have enough we might have enough um, actually I might put a few carnations in let's go ahead and cut these off I've already used them I'm gonna cut I have a few carnations I think I have four carnations left so I'm gonna put them in here just for some um... oh don't pitch your fingers yikes All right, so we got a few of these. And let's see what else I have. We have these, I don't think we need those. I do have some roses that are just kinda And I have some of these. Um, and I have these yellows, but I'm not positive. I kinda like the pink and the white look. Well, and I love these. I bought these last year at um, the Family Dollar. They look really awesome. So, um, we're going to stick with peonies for today, I think. Okay, 
Now, I am going to, um, all I'm going to do is just shove them in. You could, um, my glue's all coming out. I think I need a new hot glue gun. You could hot glue them. If, if this was, if I was going to sell this, um, or give it away as a gift or whatnot, this is going to be for me. I would hot glue it in, um, if I was. I'm not, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to shove them in. So I'm going to find one that's kind of pretty. And I have two different kinds in here. So I'm going to put this one at the top straight down. And if I feel like I can't go all the way down, I'm going to cut some more off. Because I kind of want, let me see. Let's see how far this goes. Oh, it goes quite a ways. So I could pull this up. All right. So then we're going to take one of these. This is in the center. I'm going to just take it and, oh, do I want this one in the center? Actually, I want one of these in the center. I'm going on the fly. I've not done that. I've not created this project yet. So you are seeing it for real. <laughs> so I'm going to put one here. I'm going to go off to the side and put one going in on the side like that. I'm going to grab another one and put it off to the, the other side just like that. And what I can do is after I put them all together, I can see if I want to go farther down or pull them up a little bit. That's another reason what's great about not hot gluing them in is because you can adjust them. So now I have three. I'm going to go on this side and put one here. Don't ask me why. I am not a florist. I'm just... I can hear... I know what's going to happen is my daughter Olivia is going to see see this and she's going to want it. So now you're going to go, you have three in the middle, one on the side, and I'm going to put one here on the side, on the other side, in the back, the back. Okay. Because, um, so we have that. So now before we go any further, I want to put peat moss in here because I want to put it in before I put all the flowers in because I don't want to have to, um, mess with it. So I have different kinds of peat moss, um, Spanish moss. Um, I have reindeer moss from the dollar store, but I'm today I'm going to use um, what's called um, Spanish moss. It comes in a package like this. Um, you can buy this at the dollar store. You can buy it um, at Walmart. Walmart has a big bag, I believe. Um, any craft store, you can buy it online. Um, I use it a lot. I am not going to hot glue it because I'm just, I just want it in there to lay. To just to lay in, I'm going to tuck it around. I'm tucking it in. So when I put it in there, I pushed it in a little bit. Okay. Because I'm not worried about covering up the whole, um, boy, I got paint everywhere. I'm not worried about covering up the whole, um, the whiteness of it because I think the flowers are going to cover all that up. I hope and pray. And so you just have to tear this stuff is messy, 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 messy. But um, it, it really makes it really makes the piece. And if you feel like you need more stability with it, you can hot glue it in. So am, am, do I still have everybody? <laughs> is everyone still computing? So normally, if I was making this to give away or to sell, I would hot glue everything in. Um, I'm not. I'm, ha I'm doing this for myself, for my table, so I don't mind um, just sliding it all in there. You're, you're up with me good, Kat. Thank you. And I may have to go rob. I think I brought it out. I made a... Um, Oh, what is that called? I made a an egg shape. I don't know what it's called. An egg shape bird's nest kind of thing out of a tobacco. Um, one of those tobacco rounds that goes inside of a floral basket. I brought it out in case I had to grab some Spanish moss out of it. Because, you know, I can always put it back. <laughs> so, we will see. Do you guys want to see what that is? Now that I said it, you're all probably wondering what it looks like. I can show you, though. I brought it out. All right. What a mess. I just swept my floors. 
but I brought it out here. This is what I'm talking about. It's one of those eggs tobaccos and I sewed, hand sewed, blanket stitched all the way around, put some peat moss in, I cut the center out, put some peat moss in here and I'm gonna hang it and put it on my deck for the summer. You wanna see? Yeah, it's really cool and it's um, very fine. I mean, it's amazing. I never cut one apart before, but it's really kind of cool. And um, it doesn't smell, it doesn't have a smell. So I'm gonna hang it from with some jute twine on my deck and, and you can actually, um, I saw a lot of ladies, the Shabby Tree Girl on Facebook, she made one of these. Uh, somebody else was on Pinterest that I saw them on Pinterest. Um, and you could put like a bunny in here or a bird or some of Tim Holtz people, you know, those little people that cut out, you can put them in here. You could do a scenery, you could do butterflies, but, um, yeah, flower basket liners. Yes. Um, but I decided to not put anything in here. Um, just leave it like this and I'm going to hang it on my deck and I'm, I'm hoping that maybe, maybe a bird might. Put a little nest in there we'll see either that or they're going to take all this out and put it in their own nest and this will be empty so we will see it's going to hang on my deck okay so for right now i have a pretty good it's hiding pretty good so i'm not going to worry about putting more in and what i also like is that this um spanish moss hangs over a little bit um and it it's really pretty so let's keep going and Mr. Vincent's nose will be in that box here pretty soon. All right, let's see. Now, I think I am gonna need that second, that second, um, let's cut it up while I'm here. I'm gonna cut this um, other one up. I want a nice full arrangement and hopefully, I did not prepare for this, so hopefully it'll, I'll have enough to uh, fluff it to make it uh, nice and lush, but if not, I will make with, do with what I have. So, and then this, this um, peony has little berries, which I think are, are adorable and it's gonna look cute hanging out. So I'm gonna put those in now. And it, it can be tough going through the styrofoam. So you just have to work it. And actually, I think I'm going to cut more off so I don't have to go down so far. There we go. Kind of cute. Cutesy bootsy. And we'll put one here. So basically, you're just doing fillers. Fillers and more fillers. And I'm cutting these a little smaller so I don't have to push them in as far. Um, this one looks, whoops, this one looks good. Let's turn that one around. And I'm just turning where the berries are, I'm just turning them around. So that's what I have so far, it's looking really pretty. So now, what I wanna do before I go any further is I'm just gonna look to see how it all looks. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I have one, I have enough of these that I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do the filling. So there's a there's a space right here. So I'm gonna take one of my good peonies and I'm gonna tuck it in. I'm gonna tuck, 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 tuck in. And these are a little bit of a wire so you can bend it a little bit so it looks like that. How yummy, it's so yummy, sorry. I'm getting excited. <laughs> Just getting excited to put it, um, to have it on my table. So pretty. Oh, that's way too long. Whoops, everything's flying. Oh, this makes me wanna do a wedding bouquet. <laughs> it really does. I haven't done a wedding bouquet in a, in a couple of years and it kind of makes me want to do a wedding bouquet. <laughs> um, 
Yes, flower basket liners. Hey, Dolores, how are you? We're making a shabby farmhouse centerpiece. Okay. And since I made, since I'm not hot gluing it, um, what I can do is when um, the season is over, I could put, um, I could pull the pinks out and I could put, um, the dollar store sells little red hyd um, geraniums, uh, little red flowers and they're geraniums. They're not a lot on a sprig, but a, you could fill this with those with some blue and some like red, white and blue stars. Um, you could do, um, pull those out and you could do um, your fall flowers in it. So it's really kind of cool. Yeah, at the flower shop, I know. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you, Esther, thank you. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm making this, I'm going, hmm, I wanna do a wedding bouquet now. So. All right, so now I'm just checking and you can bend them and see like I have a hole right here. I have a hole right there. So I'm gonna grab one of these little guys and I'm gonna put him in there. So pretty, and I'm just gonna move so that the berries aren't all in the same spot. And see how I can pull them out, pull them in if I want. Now I have a little bit of a dead spot right here, so I'm gonna take one of these little carnations and stick those in. Just, it's called, it's just basically for a fuller. Filler, filler, fuller. All right, let's see. And I think I could put one right there. Okay. Oh yeah. And I think I could put one right there. I'm just finding little spaces to put. Now you can't even see the, the Spanish moss now. No, oh, this is way too long. So, I uh, probably made it way too short now. There we go, okay. Let's see, there's one there, there's one there. Let's fluff this up. And I'm gonna shove, I'm gonna shove one right here at the top. And then, huh. all right, I'm just looking to see where this should go. I'm thinking. I'm gonna pull one out, move it over a hair, shove it back in, and put this one beside it. And okay, so what I'm noticing is all those little berry sprigs are on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull one out like this. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna pull um, this one out and put it on this side. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this one over here. There. Just trying to even out the berries all around. And I think that's good. I don't think I need anything else in there. I don't think I need any more of these flowers. I think, um, I think it's good. And I will just have to like work on um, bending them a little bit. Maybe, oh, this one is, came out. There we go. Yeah, I might have to like just work on bending them, but here it is. This is my shabby farmhouse centerpiece and we made the tin. Dolores, this is one of your tins. So that's, this is what we created. So, um, uh, thank you. Oh, okay, Esther, that's great. Um, have a great day, thanks for coming, and we're done anyway. So you, you, you're leaving just at the perfect time. So this is it, this is a shabby farmhouse tin can, um, and we, I made it, I can tell you how much I paid for it, only because I know how much, I, I mean, I used what, three? I used, Three, three peonies from the dollar store. 
I used four carnations from the dollar store, but so one spray, so that's four dollars. And the tin can I had on hand, the styrofoam I had on hand. I mean, I had the flowers on hand too, but I'm just gonna give you, um, let's see, four for the flowers. Um, Spanish moss is a dollar, so that's five. Um, if you had to go out and buy the stuff. Um, the styrofoam ball, that's gonna cost you um, because styrofoam's expensive. Um, but you can also buy them at the dollar store. And actually that's, I usually get those green, um, the green flower ones that you can get wet at the dollar store. And you can also get a green, a square green styrofoam at the dollar store for a dollar. So, I mean, this is under 10 bucks altogether, even with the paints and everything. And I had the paints on hand, but if you had to go buy the paints and the flowers and everything, and the tin was a freebie thing, so... Thank you, Dolores. I, this is like one of my favorite things I've ever made. It actually is, I'm so excited, I love it. So I'm just gonna play with it a little bit and um, get it sitting on my table, it's gorgeous. Now I saw something like this on um, Instagram and Pinterest, and of course it was more free flowing, it only had a couple flowers in it. Still gorgeous, it's all get out, but this is beautiful. So this would be perfect for a wedding. Um, a baby shower, a bridal shower, a dinner. Um, I would even just go put it on the post out there and let it sit there. It'd be just so pretty. Um, sorry, I'm trying to read. I can't read that far away. I wonder if you could. The f paint faux tin punch. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about on the can. You mean like punchinella? Like punching it? Renee, I love it. Almost a bangor. Oh, thank you, Renee. You're almost a bangor? <laughs> I don't think I was on that long. <laughs> Just kidding. It, it takes a while to get the bangor. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, I'm super excited about this. I would actually like to make another one. Um, uh, thanks for joining me and staying with me now. Um, make sure you comment if you're here, if you're watching and you haven't, um, commented, put, just say hello. I'd like to see who's here and you never know. You may get a prize. I may draw for a prize. I need to go digging through stuff for prizes. I, I haven't been to the stores. <laughs> I need to go to the dollar store or something and get some cute little things, but these are, this is fun project. I would love, if you decide to make one, um, tag me in it so I can see what you do. Make old. Oh yeah. Oh, I bet you could. Yeah. Go for it, Kat. You can make one. <laughs> you can do it, Kat. You can do it. So I just grabbed my tin right out of the recycling center, the one I showed you um, that, I, that I tried. Now, I will finish that and I will finish painting it and I probably will just add, um, with that being as small as it is, I may just put some water in it with some fresh flowers. So, or a candle. Uh, yeah, sorry. And if, if, you're, and if you're here and you've commented and I don't see it, it's because Facebook, for some reason, laptops, iPads, none of the comments are matching. So um, I always go back and reread the comments to make sure I didn't miss anything. But here you go. Thanks so much for joining me. And um, who knows, I may be back on tonight. It's Friday night, so tonight um, might be a Friday night vibes. I am not positive. But if I'm just in my craft room doing nothing, I may pop on and just um, create. Um, so we will see. Um, I will uh, let you know. Um, so thank you so much for coming and, um, I will talk to you guys all later and stay safe and we'll talk to you soon.